In this video, we're going to try another very interesting build that I see people playing ranked. I've never actually tried myself because I consider it kind of bad, which is Fly and Ace. Usually Fly play with Flame Charge as it has a bit more versatility. Ace is point and click, it can't really escape, but it heals and also has a lower cooldown. So you can also catch up to your opponents a bit more often. And honestly, I was quite surprised by this build. I played it three or four games with very great success. So hope you guys enjoy this gameplay and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. What is this? Bro, huh? Man, like, how is this just allowed or what? Okay. But he went from bot. He walked from bot lane all the way to my red buff. Really? That is criminal. Kill him this? No, kill him again. From all the way from bot to my rep buff. Wow, okay, I mean. I feel like that I can't expect, can I? <laughs> That's fine, he took blue buff. I'm gonna get level 7 anyways, I think. Yeah, he's probably mad I even took one of the things, but like... I didn't get level 5, so I wanted level 5. I need to jungle now. There's one HP person or jungle still. Nice. I can stack top. Play Ace? Yeah, I want to try the build that all my teammates always play. You know? You guys know how many how many of your Tano Flames in solo queue play this build, right? Like <laughs> I gotta check what it's all about, you know? Let's see what the hype is about. I think it's not that bad, but like... There's always the funny part, right? When you have a tunnel flame who does bad, you click tap button and you're gonna see him playing this build. Every single time a tunnel flame is bad in your game. You just press tap and you see flying ace. <laughs> I swear. He's playing my tank bit. No. Oh, oh my god. Please. Oh my. The ace healing difference or what? That was a bit too close. On top. Oh, it's insane how Blissey Unite does 8 of my HP. <laughs> oh man. He wants level 9, but I think I should come level 9, honestly. It, I mean, so the nice part is, right, is point and click. It has lower cooldown than flame charge, and you have more range on it, right? Okay, still okay. 
You can always engage with it as well, because Flame Charge has a higher cooldown, so you can't really Flame Charge in, right? This is very greedy, but you never know. Can't reset ace, only Bravebird can. Next game, Bravebird flame charge then. Ah, that one is just an annoying bit to play. Because you always have you have to set up before every single flame brave bird, you have to set up your basic attacks. Very intuitive. Miss this thing, I can chase. We can't score, they're gonna respawn. Yeah, that's not happening, buddy. Maybe this is happening though. We tap now. Is getting top. I kind of want to do night move one more time, but someone's on these. You can't really escape with it, but you can use white Pokemon to escape. Okay. Nice. I'm 15. Honestly, I mean. It's kind of fun this build too. Kind of like it. What are we doing up here? That shouldn't be true. What? He actually went in for this? I, I can't. I can't get baited though. It's also kind of nice. If I had Udo, I might die. All right, mid ray. Awesome. Honestly, I, I think this bit actually works quite well. I don't know if it's better than Flame Charge, of course, but... Nice. And I was more fun. 17 KOs. Hey, look at that. 1k damage. I think we approved this bit.